Hey guys, Luke here. In this short video, we are doing a very, very long term review of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for Nintendo Switch. I have owned this game and I've been playing it since it originally came out uh, several years ago now. And I'm here to tell you that this is probably the best game ever created for the Nintendo Switch. It's definitely the best Zelda that's ever been created and it is an epic adventure that I think every Nintendo Switch owner should definitely try at least once. So let's have a quick look in the box. So you can see, depending on what region you're from, you will get the Legend of Zelda cartridge. And again, this will depend on what region you're from. So basically guys, this map will show you the entire area of the Legend of Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. It is a massive, massive adventure. It will take you many, many months to complete. And there's just so much to see and do inside The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So guys, what is the game really like to play? Well, if you've ever played any Legend of Zelda game, uh, the idea behind the game is basically the same thing. We have to save the princess from uh, the evil Ganon, and to do that, we have to go on an epic adventure and complete a whole series of different bosses and uh, shrines and mini adventures inside this game. So for me personally, the best Zelda game I ever played was The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I feel like the Breath of the Wild really takes what was successful inside the Ocarina of Time and just continues to expand and expand on that to give you this enormous adventure um, that goes across all different types of landscapes. Uh, really, the Breath of the Wild is about crafting different objects, using different weapons, uh, learning new skills that will help you to get further and further through the game. After playing more than probably 80 to 100 hours inside this game, um, I'm still not completed. I have finished the actual storyline, but I have not completed the entire game itself. There is literally just so much to see and to do and so many hidden things that you'll continually come back to keep going and going because the gameplay is just so fun. There's just so much that you can do. You can play the game any way that you like. Um, and it is just a beautiful game to look at. So you can see the landscape itself is absolutely huge inside this game. And to get around, you have multiple options to do that. You can teleport to different areas. Again, I won't give away too much here. You also have a uh, glider, and I'll show you that in one second, but you can get multiple different animals and uh, particularly horses that you can use to travel around the landscape. So basically, um, you get this glider here, which acts as a really quick way to jump from many of the humongous mountainous regions um, and allows you to just glide and appreciate the beautiful detail and all of the different landscapes and different areas that you can explore. Now, probably for me, one of the biggest things here is this game is very family friendly. So if you've got a younger audience, maybe around sort of, you know, eight to 15 year olds, they will also really love this game because the environment is very interactive. The bosses are really great. Um, there's a lot of storytelling happening here. There's a lot of exploration. It is really just Nintendo's finest, most refined Zelda game that they have ever made. And it's just so much fun to get in and just do things the way that you really enjoy doing them. So what about the puzzle aspect of Zelda? Well, there are basically what we call shrines inside the game. These shrines, uh, there's over 200 of them. They are individualized mini puzzles inside the game. 
Now, I'm not going to give too much away here, but each of these shrines uh, challenge you in different ways. And each one that you go into eventually gets a little bit harder, it gets a little bit harder. You have to use all of the skills you've acquired. You'll have different weapons that you'll need to go in to complete each shrine. And each shrine that you find can also be a bit of a challenge because they're often hidden inside the enormous landscape of Breath of the Wild. So all in all, guys, you can probably tell I absolutely love this game on Nintendo Switch. There is just so much to see and do, and the actual game itself has some incredible um, moments, and I'm going to show you some of the landscapes and how good they look on this game. You can see uh, there's a lot happening here. So the attention to detail inside this game is beautiful. So this is definitely one of my favorite shots here. You can see that we've kind of got this setting sun. We've got uh, Link sitting here on the horse and all the rich detail in the mountains and the grass. It is really a tremendous achievement um, from Nintendo. The graphics in this game are incredible. They are cell shaded, which is definitely uh, a slightly different technique, um, but I think it looks incredible. And I think even in sort of 2022, this game still holds up against a lot of the newer games that are coming out. Plus, there's a number of DLCs that you can purchase and add into The Legend of Zelda, and that, again, extends the game even further. This is definitely the game that you must own on Nintendo Switch. It is well worth the price, and I'm sure you will continue to play this game probably for a few years if you haven't already picked it up. So I hope you enjoyed this short review, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. All right, this is the new The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, it's interesting, these little Switch games. It's like, they're so tiny, like a little SD card. Where does it go in the Switch? Can you show where that goes? Right there. And so it puts it in there. Make sure it clicks and closes, and then turn it on. I think sometimes these games take a little bit to boot up first time. But... No, they're not. Sorry for the glare from the sun, <laughs> but he couldn't wait. He bought it and then had to get it. Is it coming on? Floating. <laughs>